Hey there, have you ever wondered about magnets, about how a magnet attracts another from a distance, or repulses it when light poles face each other? The only visible clue is that the lines of force run into the south pole and out the north. If you sprinkle iron filings on the magnets, they align along those lines. Michael Faraday, who studied magnets extensively, said, I cannot conceive curved lines of force without the conditions of a physical existence. And James Maxwell, who studied magnetic fields in quite a bit of detail, added, In that space, there is matter in motion. So, what physical entities are moving in the region between two magnets? How do they produce attraction and repulsion from a distance? Well, here's a neat way to explain how magnets attract each other from a distance to a 10-year-old. Imagine that we have two magnets, but rather than in the traditional north-south directions, we divide them lengthwise. Let's label these regions top and bottom. Magnetic lines of force enter the south pole and exit the north. Imagine now that there are two rope jumpers standing on the top corners and two on the bottom standing upside down. The two on the top swing the ropes counterclockwise. The two on the bottom swing the ropes clockwise. All the ropes swing into the south pole and come out of the north. When the magnets are close together, the rope of the jumper on the top pulls on the rope of the jumper of the other magnet. Likewise, the rope of the jumper on the bottom pulls on the rope of the jumper of the other magnet. That's the mechanism of attraction. Okay guys, please slow down a bit so that we can see what's going on. Let's now return to our starting point. Watch carefully now. If we rotate the magnet in the top to bottom direction, the jumper on the top continues to swing his rope counterclockwise. And the jumper that is now on the bottom continues to swing his rope clockwise. Nothing has changed as far as the direction in which the ropes swing. Let's go back again to our starting point. Let's try rotating the magnet in the traditional south-north direction and see what happens to the direction in which the ropes swing. Now the jumper on the top swings his rope clockwise, whereas the one on the bottom swings his rope counterclockwise. When the magnets are close together, the ropes clash against each other. The magnets push each other away. So give yourself a pat in the back. You can now explain how a magnet physically attracts and repels another.